Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be building a new test rig using the Thermaltake series TG ARGB chassis. This new chassis from Thermaltake has plenty of cooling options and it looks pretty stunning, allowing a 360 radiator at the top, three ARGB fans in the front, and also one at the rear here. And you have a nice PSU cover that allows extra cooling. I like this new feature here that allows you to twist the knob and then you can then open your tempered glass to uh, access all your components inside. Yeah, very nice. Uh, and it comes with a uh, vertical GPU mount bracket here that allows you to slot your graphics card vertically. And it fits a full-size ATX and EATX motherboard as well. The front panel has the usual power on switch, reset button, uh, the audio output, as well as USB 3.2 and the Type-C connector there as well. Uh, this front bit comes off, allow you to access the fans right here. This whole front here can actually remove, so you can actually fit your own uh, configuration of fans and other uh, distro plates and things like that. It also has a nice steel frame right here that gives it a unique look, and I quite like that design. What I like about the side panel right here is that when you remove this, you can access all the cable management, and uh, you can have the Velcro straps here, which is quite nice, and you have these uh, clips here to uh, put all your cables nice and tidy. The front RGB fans have the three pin uh, connector which you can connect straight to your motherboard and it also has the uh, four pin uh, fan control as well. And you have the same at the back as well. And on the bottom here, you have access to three and a half inch uh, bays for your drives. So you have two of them here. And of course you have plenty of room for your power supply which slots in here. All right, so we'll be building this new test rig with a uh, ASUS ROG Z790E gaming motherboard as well as fitting a Thermaltake 1000 watt uh, power supply, the GF3. And then we're going to be using a 360 all-in-one uh, Ultra 360 cooler. And then we have the GeForce RTX 3090 that then fits vertically on the chassis there. We'll also be using the Lexar NM800 SSD along with some nice uh, DDR5 RAM from uh, Patriot Memory. All right, so let's start the build and see how it goes. I think it will look good inside the chassis with all the RGB fans running as well. So uh, let's begin the build and uh, we'll see you in a bit.
All right, so we've just finished uh, preparing the chassis, and as you can see, the uh, power supply here, the Thermaltik GF3 1000 watt power supply, we've actually mounted that there. And uh, we laid out the cables, including the 24 pin ATX motherboard cable right here, as well as the uh, CPU to motherboard uh, eight pin as well at the top. And this is the eight pin PCIe uh, connector for your graphics card. All right, and uh, earlier on, we uh, prepared the motherboard as well as the all-in-one cooler, and that's ready to go inside this whole chassis. All right, so uh, let's put this in and uh, see how it goes. All right, so we just completed the build. Here we have the uh, Thermaltake Series 500 TG ARGB chassis. And as you can see, we've mounted the graphics card vertically. This is the GeForce RTX 3090. We also mounted the uh, Tough Liquid 360 Ultra. And that goes on the top. And you can see the uh, tubing goes here. And then you have the uh, display on the CPU water block. All right, we also have the Tough Power uh, GF3 1000 power supply and everything looks good and on the back here we took the panel off and as you can see we all the uh, cable management there I love the velcro straps which really helps tidy up the cables and uh, everything looks good there's a couple of things that you need to be aware of uh, although we mounted the graphics card vertically the chassis doesn't come with a PCI riser cable you have to buy that separately and the other thing is the back fan right here. The three pin ARGB cable as well as the fan cable is very short. So I had to get the extension uh, to get that uh, connected up. And finally, the temper glass is on a hinge. So uh, I recommend you remove the uh, temper glass by unscrewing the hinge here uh, before you do the installation of the board and all the other components. The worst thing you wanna is have the uh, temper glass cracked or scratched. So apart from that, um, everything looks good. Uh, we've connected up all the uh, USB and uh, power switches and also the reset buttons. So uh, the only thing to do now is power this up and see how everything looks. It should look really good with the ARGB fans in the front there. Um, and we also have one at the back. Okay, so let's power this up and we'll see you in a bit. The Thermaltake Series 500 GT ARGB Snow Edition is a nice looking mid-tower chassis for sure. Its unique design features a metal frame at the front along with perforated top and front panels allowing excellent cooling performance. The four pre-installed CT140 ARGB cooling fans are an added bonus. You get one at the rear and three more fans at the front of the chassis. Each fan is 140mm in size with a fan speed of 1500rpm and a noise level of 30.5dBA. We fitted a standard size motherboard into the uh, Series 500 chassis uh, with no issues. We also mounted a Thermaltake Tough Liquid Ultra 360 all-in-one cooler on the top side of the case. Again, it fitted with no problems whatsoever. So as far as installation goes, it's perfect. Since the case came pre-installed with a vertical GPU mount, it was enticing us to install a full-length graphics card. So we did. Oddly, Thermaltake did not include the uh, PCIe riser cable, so we had to use our own. So all said and done, 
The Somaltic Series 500 TG ARGB Snow Edition is a very good choice for system builders. It offers plenty of cooling options with perforated panels on the top and front and includes four pre-installed CT140 ARGB cooling fans. It has a unique look with its metal frame design at the front of the case, plus you can install an optional 3.9 inch LCD panel kit to really bring the system to life. You can check out the full review on our website at funkykit.com. And there you have it, that was a quick look at the Thermaltic Series 500 TG ARGB chassis with a nice design and plenty of cooling options. Hope you enjoyed this video, give us a like and leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description and of course visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.